At this moment, we have basic accounts created, but expenses view or application index view are empty. Let's create quickly an add button. This add button will open a form so that user can enter a new expense. Let's do that. Here is the add button with URL pointing to the view which I named expense. Now, here in URL module of the core app, I will add a new URL path. The view function is expense, and I will name this path expense. Let me create a view which will render a template named expense.html. Here is the content. Action of this form is expense view. And it is a post form. Also notice that I added CSRF token. Now, if I press add button, an empty form appears. This happens because I don't pass any form object. In previous screencast, I created XP account form using simple form. Creating forms this way in Django means a lot of typing. For XP transaction, I will use model form. This will require way less code to type. So let me first declare the class. It will inherit from model form. Now. I need to add an inner meta class, which needs to define associated model and field that I want to display, like source, destination, amount, and description. And now let's instantiate transaction form in expense view. If I leave it this way, that is transaction empty, I will need to choose every time source and destination. But source will always be my bank account. So let's initialize this form source field with bank account. Bank account is of type asset. So I will look for XP account of type asset. Like this. Now, the same expense view will handle post requests. So I need to add post request handling logic. In case the request method is post, I will instantiate an XP transaction form and I will check if it's valid. You know what? I think XP transaction name is a bad choice. Let me rename it to expense form. Now, if expense form is valid, I will invoke perform transaction from utils module. This function will perform a transaction from source account of expense form to destination from the same expense form with this amount and with this destination and with this description. Expense view looks now pretty good. We have a get handling and we have post handling part as well. So let me test it in browser. Say I want to add an entry for groceries I did. And the amount is 39.99 and description my groceries at Reve. Add. Right, nothing appears because there's no logic to display expenses neither in index view nor in index template. But you can see here in accounts view that amount was deducted from my bank account and added to groceries account, which means we have an expenses entry. So what I'll do now here in index.html, I will add a table. This table will have a header with date, amount and description columns. I will add table body tag element, a for loop for each expense and expenses array which I will pass via view. For each expense I will add a table row with three columns, date, amount and description. In view I need to instantiate expenses from XP transactions. 
expenses are instances of XP transactions which belong to the current user. I will order them by created add descending and finally I will pass expenses list to the template. Let me now see how it looks in browser. Right, we have one expense entry. Let me add one more. This time I will add rent expense of $500 and description rent for June 2020. Click add and here it is, rent for June 2020 entry. Also in accounts you can see account has an amount of $500. Groceries account have $35 and $99. And both of these accounts were deducted from my bank account. Looks pretty good for the beginning. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching.